Welcome to Teen Numbers with the Count. Today we'll be working on the number 11. This is the number 11. Let's clap it. 11. Stomp it. 11. Cheer it. 11. Whisper it. 11. Can you say it with me, boys and girls? This is the number 11. Now let's turn on our magic writing fingers. We're going to start at the top and drag our finger down to the bottom line. Write one and then another one. Drag your finger down to the bottom line. That's how we make the number 11. Two straight lines. That is very quick. Can you do it with me in the air, boys and girls? Start at the top. Drag your finger down to the bottom. Jump back up to the top and drag your finger down to the bottom again. Very good. That's the number 11. Now for a challenge. Can you find the number 11, boys and girls? See how many times you can find it. Great job. Now let's see, were you correct? Did you find all of the 11s? There they are. Hopefully you found all of them. Now we're going to work on counting 11 objects. Remember, when I count, it helps me to line them up to make sure that I don't miscount any of the objects. So here we go. We're going to line up our objects as we count them. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven ladybugs. The number 11 is a two-digit number. The number 11 is 10 and one more. We can also say it as 10 plus 1 equals 11. So you see one stick of 10s. There's one group of 10 and then there's one more by itself. One, one. Now we're going to use our circle map to brainstorm some ideas, some ways to make the number 11. So we make the number 11, we can use a number bond and we put the number 11 on the top because that's our largest number. And then we break it apart with 10 and one. We can use a 10 frame. So we put 10 in the 10 frame, one 10 frame all filled and then one more to make 11. We can use a number sentence, 10 plus one equals 11. We can use a wreck and wreck. So we'll slide all of the beads on the top over, all 10, and then one on the bottom. So we have 10 on the top and one on the bottom to make 11. We can use unifix cubes. So we have a stack of 10 and one more to make 11 and we can use a number line. So we start on the number 10 and we jump one time to get to our red dot number 11. Now, boys and girls, you can watch the Sesame Street podcast number of the day, number 11. It's the next link here. Great job, boys and girls.